Successful street photography scenes need bite, impact, and the power to stop the viewer in their tracks. So what's the best weapon to add this treatment in the digital darkroom? Well, a combination of treatments can be the secret. By pairing a high contrast adjustment with a mono conversion, you can give your street scenes this high key transformation. The secret to this technique lies in Affinity Photo 2's adjustment options. Found in the photo persona of the interface, they afford professional photographers a vast array of non-destructive options to dramatically affect the look of the frame. And the best thing is, because they are non-destructive, if you don't like the look of them, you can simply delete the adjustment and start again. Now, while you could try this technique with any of your street photography images that are gathering dust on a hard drive, there are some situations that will give you a head start. Frames that already contain hard, high contrast lighting will be easier to enhance and will benefit more from the black and white conversion. So let's see how this technique comes together. With your image open in Affinity Photo 2, make sure you're in the Photo Persona. If not, just click on the Photo Persona icon in the top left hand side of the interface. Next, head over to the right side of the interface and find the Layers panel. Now click on the Adjustment icon, which is identified by a half black, half white circle. When you click on it, a vast array of options will present themselves, but the one we want is black and white. A dialog box will appear, and this is essentially a channel mixer for the colours in the scene. This gives photographers the opportunity to fine tune the tones in the frame, because after the mono conversion, the scene may not look quite how you want it to. Move the various sliders left and right to balance out the tones in your image, and again, this will be down to personal taste. Head back over to the Layers panel and click on the Adjustments icon again, but this time, when the drop-down menu appears, select Brightness and Contrast. A new layer will appear in your Layers panel and a different dialog box will appear too. This one has two sliders, one for brightness and one for contrast. So drag the brightness slider to the right to increase the brightness, and then repeat this with the contrast slider, ramping up the contrast as we drag it to the right. And we'll see already that high key effect start to come into play. So here is our start image. And this is what we've done with just two simple steps. Okay, head back to the Layers panel again, and once more we're going to use the Adjustments icon. Click on it, and this time select Levels. When the dialog box appears, locate the white level slider, and drag this to the left, which will emphasise the white points in the frame. And repeat this with the black level, dragging this to the right. And essentially we're making our whites whiter and our blacks blacker. Okay, we're going to revisit the adjustments icon one more time, and when we click on it, we're going to select HSL. We're going to use the luminosity shift slider to create a vignette. So drag this all the way to the far left, and you'll be left with a frame in complete blackness. Head back to the layers panel and click on the mask option. Now head over to the left hand side of the interface and select the paintbrush tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is B. Make sure the brush is set to black, has a hardness of 0%, and you can change the size of the brush using the square bracket keys. And now just paint out the pixels from the middle of the frame outwards, so that we're left with a border to emphasize attention and complement the mono conversion. Now if you think this effect is too strong, you can make sure that the layer is selected and then click on the opacity slider and drag this to the left. There we go, that's our high key mono conversion. One more time, let's take all the steps away and we can see our start image. And we can see how we added our black and white adjustment, our brightness and contrast adjustment, the levels adjustment, and then finally the vignette via that HSL adjustment. All we need to do now is head over to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF or PSD. Have fun adding a high key effect to your mono conversions and I'll see you next time.